Hey, what's going on there guys? You've officially arrived at the 420 scene and today we're gonna to be talking about why I'm officially done with Fox Farm, minus the seedling stage. But first, show some love and support by watching the entire video, dropping a like, subscribing, and tapping the post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, be sure to join our VIP Patreon program for tips, monthly giveaways, live streams, all that good stuff. Link will be in the description below. And also, don't forget, if you wanna come and sesh with us, check out our grows and just chill with us. Follow us on Instagram, link to that will also be in the description below. Before we start this video, I don't know how much of you guys are football fans and this isn't plant related and honestly, I don't really care at this point. Not this part, okay? One of my all-time favorite wide receivers just passed away a few days ago at the age of 33. Demarius Thomas, he played for the Denver Broncos. I watched him play for like a decade and it just... I don't know, it just really hit me. It really, it kind of hit me pretty hard. I didn't know DT or anything like that, but knowing how limited our time is and you know, passing away at age 33, I'm, I'm 35, but believe it or not. I mean, I look younger than that, but I just want to give a moment of silence to DT before we get into today's video. All right, so I know what you guys are thinking. 420, what the dealio, bro? <laughs> You've been all about Fox Farm Soil since the channel started and now you're gonna roll on them like what? What's up with that, right? I could already hear a lot of you Fox Farm fans, you know, cracking your knuckles, you know what I mean? You're getting ready, start typing away, clickety clickety clack 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 of that keyboard, but Listen, just hear me out, all right? And in case you guys are new here, I'm gonna start this sort of from the very beginning. I'm not, listen, I'm not gonna sit here and just say Fox Farm Soil is trash because I'd be lying to you and I don't make it a point to lie to my fan base. It's just bad reputation and it's just bad for business. It's done me well for a lot of years and I started because Cali Green used it. I know I said that in a lot of my other videos and I ran multiple experiments between Lucky Dog, Ocean Forest, Happy Frog, Strawberry Fields. I've used a lot of Light Warrior, really good for the seed stage and you know I've even used their soil conditioner for many years and for the longest time the reason I was so stuck on Fox Farm was because I've always been afraid of trying new things because I don't want to fail but you know think about it I'm thinking the biggest fear for us humans has always been failing you know failure since the beginning of time everybody's always afraid to fail and I didn't want to spend another three or four months on a new brand of soil that's just not going to work out for me, but eventually I did build up the courage and I said, you know what, screw it, all right? I'm going to try ProMix and create my own super soil. And this was back in 2018. This is when I did my first outdoor grow. I figured, you know what, I'm running some Fox Farm. I'm going to be running some ProMix. Why not? It's an outdoor grow, you know what I'm saying? So I tried out a whole bunch of stuff and down the earth always seemed like it was just a really good set of dry amendments, which is the reason why I wanted to show you guys my super soil mix that I, I made a couple months ago. I had pretty good success with my mix and I didn't want to just not share it with you guys. I know some of you think, because I've, I've seen the comment section, I do actually read the comment section. I know some of you guys think that I keep secrets to myself about growing and you know, other growers out there do the same thing, but I can't speak on what other growers do and don't do. And if you ask me though, if they keep secrets just to not let you guys know about it, I just think that's straight up selfish and it doesn't do anybody any good. See, that's the problem with everybody being so competitive. How can we help each other out and maintain a sense of community if we're trying to be selfish and withhold stuff that could help others out? I mean, it's one heck of an anomaly if you ask me. But this is a bad way of thinking, pretty much getting back to what I was saying before, you know, about the whole failure thing. So after I tried the Pro Mix run, I went back to Fox Farm for a while. Even as the channel was progressing and moving forward, I was still continuing with Fox Farm soil and showing you guys all the different Fox Farm recipes and mixing all the different Fox Farm soils that they have to offer. And I'm glad I've been able to help a lot of you guys have, you know, just overall better gardens and nicer looking plants. I keep getting messages from you guys on Instagram telling me how your garden keeps improving because of the advice that I've given you. And, you know, I don't think you guys fully understand how that makes me feel. It really makes me feel like I'm doing something worthy, like I'm doing something good, I'm making a difference for people. And Fox Farm soil always felt more of like a convenience. It, it's already pre-mixed and as long as you know the differences in the soils, you'll be able to pretty much have some nice plants without messing with you know all the different amendments. It's just straight up easy to use pre-mixed stuff like Fox Farm. Then last summer, right, a lot of you guys were asking me if I used the Pro Mix before and it, it took me back to when I used it in 2018 and I just 
wanted to try it out again. I figured, you know, it was gonna be new content. I had the content that I haven't really shared with you guys. But this time I wanted to do, really? No, Uber, get out of here. I live in the middle of nowhere. Y'all don't exist. I'm not even kidding. But anyway, like this time I wanted to do something different that I haven't done before. And I wanted to compare the Pro Mix with the Fox Farm just to see the difference in growth. And even though we had to cut it down because I did buy the house. If you look on Instagram from the last run, you might have to scroll through a whole bunch of stuff. I got a whole bunch of photos on there. The Pro Mix plants are on the left side and the Fox Farm stuff is on the right side. So just to kind of give you guys a little bit more insight on what we were going on. And you could just see the difference in growth and it just made me feel like, I mean, wow, you know what? People were right. I was holding myself back by using the pre-mixed Fox Farm soil. I'm not gonna say that Fox Farm soil sucks because that would just be straight up blasphemy. You know, how would I be able to make that statement if I had some really nice runs with Fox Farm soil? So the point that I'm trying to make is that Fox Farm soil is pretty decent, but there are better options out there. As long as you're willing to put in some work and apply yourself into learning about, you know, the different amendments that you can mix and stuff like that just takes some time. It takes practice. It's a lot of trial and error everything about growing. Listen, I don't like that word sucks. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's miracle grow, then it really sucks. Like I'm saying, all these growers out there, they didn't just become growers just like that. It's a lot of trial and error. It's a lot of learning. It's a lot of applying yourself with different techniques and you know different things about growing. It's, it's about reading. It's about doing your research. It's about growing. It's about experimenting. You put all that together. That's how you become a better grower. Also, there's something else that kind of bothers me about Fox Farm, and it's not something that I would have been able to pick up by myself if it weren't for you guys. What is with this? Like the computer, the the watch, everything is blowing up. I swear this only happens when I'm doing videos. But anyway, like I was saying, it's not even just Fox Farm. It's specifically their ocean forest soil. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know where I'm gonna be going with this. And a lot of people, including myself, feel like it's hot, but then there are other people out there that say ocean forest is not hot. And it just makes me believe like their soil is unstable and it's not really that reliable in the sense that you don't know what you're gonna get and you guys can disagree with me all you want. And just as a side note, because I gotta say it, just because you disagree with me, let's not automatically chalk it up like I'm the one that doesn't know what I'm talking about. It could be the other way around. Might not be the nicest thing for a creator like myself to say, but you know what? I'm as real as they come. That's what makes me one of the most loved and hated grow creators on YouTube. I'm just saying, just because somebody disagrees with somebody else, it doesn't automatically mean that the other person doesn't know what they're talking about. Back to the ocean forest. I'm not sure if the ratios are different based on the market that you live in. It would make sense especially if some people are saying it's hot and some people are just saying that it's not hot. I don't know if the formula is different depending on where you live, but it's just weird that it's hot for some people but not hot for other people. So I just really wanted to make that point. You know, some, oh, oh it's, it's, it's not hot. What are you talking about? Guys, I'm telling you, I've seen some plants from other people with burn. You know what I'm saying? Like straight up nutrient burn. They said they didn't add anything else. It was just ocean forest so it's not even like oh you don't know how to grow nutrient burn it's not even like that and you know what it's specifically ocean forest because nobody really complains about strawberry fields lucky dog or happy frog aside from the fact that happy frog doesn't have much nitrogen in it as it's more of a complementary soil but it's not something that i get different answers to it's not like someone says oh, oh this soil's hot and this soil's not hot like most of the answers that i get from all the other soils are more consistent it's just Ocean forest, that's the controversial one. Now, this is where the fun starts. This is where I actually want you guys to actually do something. Let me know in the comment section whether your ocean forest, if you're using ocean forest, or if you have used ocean forest, is hot or not hot because I think it's super important to see all the different answers that we get. So let me know in the comment section if the ocean forest that you've run is hot or not hot. I'm, I'm really dying to see what the comment section is gonna be like. I might even run a poll in the community section just so everybody else can cast their vote and see. So guys, always make sure to check on the community section of our channel because we have a lot of different bulletins, notifications. We run some fun polls for you guys every now and then. All the Q&A stuff that I get um, from the Q&A series actually from the community section. So make sure that you're kind of, you know, updating yourself on that. And now the whole point that I'm trying to make is that even though it's pretty good soil as a premix, if you can create your own custom soil or mix with 
organic dry amendments or you know even work with living soil your growth is going to be just far more explosive than just being okay and settling on premixed stuff because at the same time you're not really learning anything by just using the premixed stuff unless you're running some kind of experiment and it took me having to do a side-by-side -side comparison between the fox farm soil and the pro mix custom soil that i made to realize that you know what I've been holding myself back and I know I've already mentioned this earlier on in the video, but I really wanted to push this out there because I don't want you guys to spend a decade like I did settling on something when you have much more potential to grow better plants. My suggestion to you guys would be that if you're already running with Fox Farm soil or you already bought Fox Farm soil, just use it. But I would also get some pro mix and create your own kind of soil, your own custom soil as well, using whatever organic amendments you know you can or whatever you like. You know what I'm saying? I like down the earth. We're going to be running the Gaia Green next. You know this next round. You know what I'm saying? So that way, if you mess something up, you at least have your plants from the pre mix Fox Farm stuff. So it's not going to be like a total loss or anything like that. I kind of wish I thought that way when I first started. Even if you do like one plant in a different kind of soil and I'm not saying that you have to go with pro mix I know I've been talking about pro mix this entire video along with the Fox farm but there's a lot of other stuff out there that you can use like this coast of Maine you got roots organic you got black gold you know there's just a lot of stuff out there so I'm not trying to make it all about pro mix and I'm not trying to make this video about pro mix versus Fox farm even though it pretty much sounds like it. I just want you guys to have more of an open mind than I did so that's why I'm passing this information out to you guys and hopefully Hopefully I help some of you guys out even by giving you a little bit more insight or motivating you to try something new and different. No risk it, no biscuit. All right guys, so I feel like we covered a lot of stuff. Hopefully I gave you some good insight on this whole Fox Farm stuff. I wasn't bashing them. I know the title sounded a little worse than what it actually was. You know, I can't bash a company that I've been using for so long. You know what I'm saying? I gotta show them some love too. Before we close off today's video, I wanna thank everyone on screens for supporting us on Patreon since February. I really appreciate the love and support guys. So before we close off today's video be sure to drop a fat thumbs up drop that fat like and subscribe for more content and i will catch you guys in the next one and as always stay safe peace